Let's make this head popping tutorial using CapCut and Canva. In Canva, search for the image of your choice. In the search elements, I have searched with keywords like smiling face man, smiling face man, bald head, etc. So once you have an image of your choice, click on it, go to edit photo and click on BG remover and it will give you a green screen background, something like this. And once you have the image of your choice, all you need to do is click on this one, select the circle shape, extend it, align it where you want the actual cut to come. For me, I want the cut to come across the face. So I want it something like this, align it, go to the color, color it appropriately. So here I'm choosing red and black color with a circular gradient, which is what we have here. So if I want to preview how it looks like, all you need to do is just drag this piece down. And ideally it should look something like this. So let me drag it up and put it back. All you need to do is download each piece separately as a transparent PNG, which I've already done in the CapCut editor. I have a grid as a background. Let me bring in the image which we have imported, copy it and put it twice. Now the only change that I'm going to make is if I hide this track, you see that this is the bottom piece. And if I hide this track, this is the top piece. Now to do this effect, let me first hide the top piece, click this image go to mask, select the circle and align it where I actually wanted the cut to take place. And once you have done that, do the exact same piece in the top layer. The only difference is that if I switch the mask, this is the bottom piece and on the top piece, invert the mask so that you will get the top portion. So this is the top portion. And this is the bottom portion combined. You will have the full face. Bring the gradient layer underneath the bottom layer. And you will need to do some trial and error to get the position right. But once you have got the position correct, if you unhide the top portion, it should look something like this. So this is the effect which I actually wanted for the bottom portion. And once we have the top portion here, if I do the transform effect at the top portion, it should look something like this. Now, all we need to do is bring in our flowers in between these two layer and animate the top portion for the flowers. Go to motion graphics. I search for growing flowers. And you can pick and choose any flower of your choice. I have picked this one as well as this one. The flowers growing on alpha and growing flowers here. I have downloaded and just to make it a bit more interesting for the individual videos. This I have speed up to 2x and this I have speed up to 1.4x so that both grows at a different speed, which gives a bit more dynamic feel to the whole video. Now select both the videos, make it a compound clip and bring in underneath this layer over the gradient layer. And if I unhide this portion and if I scrub it around, you should see that we have the flowers coming from inside portion of the head. It gives that particular feel. Let me unhide this layer. Let me extend these layers a bit more. And what we need to do next is as and when the flowers starts growing up, the top layer should start transforming up something like this. So we need to adjust the position of the top layer for which let me put a keyframe here. Let me go all the way till this point. Let me put a keyframe here and select the top layer. 
adjust it so that I can see that the flowers are here, the head is here. Scrub it to see the transformations. And if you want, you can adjust the keyframe speed. And the position here. So let me put it a bit more higher so that you will get to see the flowers fully. Not bad. And to do the reverse effect, let me copy this video. Put it here. Select reverse. We'll have to do some trimming to make sure that the effect is smooth. So let me trim it from here. Let me put it here. Not bad. Now all we need to do is do this transformation effect in reverse. So let me control C this one and let me place a keyframe somewhere here and let me put a control V so that I'm applying the same keyframe here whatever I had here I'm also applying it here and now if I play it around small mistake So let me copy this frame and I want this frame to hold till this point. Not bad. All you need to do is play around with the speed here. So you can either increase or decrease the speed by holding the keyframe and pulling it left or right to adjust the speed and if you want more effect select the video go to animation in the in select fade in and for this video go to out select fade out And to add a bit more effect, select this layer, create a compound clip, go to FX, drag the blue mosaic, bring down the filter value, adjust the size and texture based on your choice. So 51, 28. Let me do the same for the bottom piece as well. Fifty one twenty eight and once you do that you may need to adjust this position slightly here And that should do it. So if you play it once again, you have a nice head popping effect. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'll see you soon in another one. Thank you and bye bye.